Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Labor Day in Canada. It's a holiday, and we're headed down to the bar to see what's going on. 62 on the 62 Fahrenheit. It is fall, you guys. Fall is happening. I'm afraid for us. I think we're gonna have a cold fall. Good morning, Gracie girl. Good morning, Willow. Good morning. Evie. Yesterday, I was able to spend a lot of time with Evie. I walked her around, the girls were at the barn. Gabby went for a trail ride with her friends for like four hours, like they were gone for so long. I was able to spend a lot of time with her. I was able to groom her, I was able to walk her around the yard. She is not reacting very well to the move, unfortunately. Sam had to put up this little fence here. I don't think that's gonna do anything. <laughs> But he, at least he tried. She is not really respecting the electric fence. She thought she was a jumping horse, but she wasn't. <laughs> She's not a jumping horse, you guys. We've discovered this. It did pour rain in the night last night. So our paddock is a little bit of mat, a little bit of mud and a little bit of mess. I love how it's kind of sloped so that all the water comes here just in one big stream in the middle and then they have dry areas. It has pretty good drainage in here. You might be able to tell by how fast she's eating the grass. She's a little keyed up. Everything is new for her, and Pasofinos are kind of a more energetic breed to begin with. But watch this. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Good girl. All right, might not look like much, but the, the horse knows verbal commands and she will do anything that you tell her verbally. Call me crazy, but this is how I feel, you guys. Is she the right horse for me? No. Holy heck, she's the opposite. But for whatever reason, I think that we need each other. I don't know. I don't know who needs who more. Whose journey is the one that's supposed to be being met here? But I'm not, I feel confident with this little girl. I feel strong with her. I feel the desire to go, like when I am just walking her around the paddock and stopping her and doing little transitions on the ground and my heart is fluttering and I feel like so excited. Like this, this little mare, for whatever reason, feels like I could cry again. Like feels like a part of my journey, but a part of my journey that's not a part of my kids, if that makes sense. This feels like something that's just completely for me, even though she's kind of lost. She's nervous because, I mean, she's done a lot of, a lot of big changes have happened and for her, but for whatever reason, I feel alive and so excited and ready to get up in the morning and take her for walks and just get her going, like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what to call it. I just know that she's here for right now. And for whatever reason, this is where we are. And I'm okay with it. Hey guys, welcome back to the video. I, uh, it has been a hot minute since I picked up the camera this morning. It is now 11.36. And I wanted to share with you guys what's been going on. So you guys know that we got a new horse. Her name is Evie. And, and she's wonderful. She's beautiful. I also shared with you my reservations when we were at the barn about getting her and I honestly in my heart felt like she was not the right horse for me and I'm gonna say that there was a lot of pressure at the barn like the everybody was there for the trial the barn owners her trainer the lady her family and some other random people there were a lot of people there and they all were like watching and everybody had comments to say and I felt so much pressure and that is not the right reason to get a horse and so I had to go inside myself and really try and figure out what I should do and so then I looked back on the fact that God had showed me that I was going to bring this horse home and so in the end I said you know what I'm going to bring this horse home. In my vision when I dreamed God showing me that I brought this horse home, I was standing there and Gabby was holding her with the lead rope and she was in the part of our field that is really close to the back door of the field, if that makes sense. And anyway, Gabby had the lead rope and she, and 
and I was saying, oh gosh, like why, what? Like I was worried in my dream. I was stressed in my dream and I didn't know what that meant. But anyways, we brought her home and she's been great. And a lot of you guys were worried that I didn't, that Gabby did everything with her. But yesterday Gabby was gone for the whole day and I spent the whole entire day walking her around and making her my own and just trying to calm her down. And I can tell you guys, like she was jumping fences. She is, was not happy to be there. I don't think she was the perfect horse for me to begin with, but I felt like it doesn't matter if she's perfect for me, if she needs me or if God plans for me to have her. I mean, horses is not just about riding, you guys. Horses are about everything but riding. Riding is just an, an exception. Riding is just the icing on the cake. Horses are about everything other than riding. And, and for me, it didn't matter if I ever rode her, if that's what God had planned for me. But this morning, I woke up and I knew that I couldn't keep her. Like, I knew. I made plans to to take her home as a, on a trial. The lady said I could bring her back at any point. And I don't want her to sit in our field and me work with her and deal with her and, and bond with her and then take her back and her have to do it all over again. The sooner I take her back, I feel, it'll be more like just uh, 24 hours away from her little herd and she can go right back into her life. And, that's what I feel, that's what I believe, and so sadly, we're taking her home, and I and I know it's the right decision. I know, like, we didn't do a vet check, it's not about that, like, she's so stressed with the move that it's hard for me to see what's really going to be like, and I understand that that has to happen, but I really, truly felt like she was not the right mix for me, even when we went to see her, and I just wanna say, There are only learning opportunities and recognizing the fact that this isn't the right choice right away, I feel, is going to be a good thing for her. For her. So anyways, that's the end of my journey to getting my own horse. Brandon told me that, Laura, just sit back, relax, I'll find you the horse. I'll find you, so I don't know when it will happen. It might happen in a year, it might happen next week, it might not happen for three years. I'm gonna to continue to learn at the Pasofina place. I am going to continue on my journey. And when a horse finds me, it will find me. But I'm sorry for bringing you all along, getting you all excited. But the trial has ended, you guys. We're finished with it. Evie's going back home. adventures of getting a horse you guys that's how it turned out and I know it was really quick but that's the kind of person that I am I definitely like she just kept jumping through the fence so it was really hard for us if one thing had gone right with keeping her then it would have made it easier but with her jumping through the fences and and us not being able to figure out how to keep her there like she wasn't happy she was definitely a lot happier when she got home I feel really bad you guys for getting your hopes up and I feel bad that the vlog today is going to be a hard one because we've been traveling all day and I feel bad because I have to check whoa what are you doing? apparently when you get old you can't walk on a curb uh, we have to check and see if Gabby's pants are dirty what about yours look at mine anyway we're in Milton Ontario if you live there shout out to you we are headed to get something to eat we've been traveling all day so I have a few hour ride we had to get home oh, this is all you and it's a holiday so everything's closed and I'm, I'm not gonna lie I don't feel that sad like some of you guys said I didn't look that seem that into Evie what would you give and I think that? I had more anxiety than than enjoyment from her so unfortunately because our kids are at the age they're at all we ever get to go to in fast food is McDonald's. It's all McDonald's. Gabby almost saw a bee and didn't freak out, you guys. Like, it's happening. She's getting... No, it went freaking right there. I went in her drink. No. It flew by my drink. And she didn't throw the drink. 
And we know it's ice cream and not a drink. Sam always parks us like in the mud puddles. Ah, I can never stand on these. Or in the weeds. We're headed home and I just wanted to like, there's so many things I want to say, but I don't want to like be a vlog of just talking. But I do want to say before we get home yeah, that anytime you make a mistake or you choose poorly, there are always going to be people out there that are going to rub it in your face or make you feel bad about it. And it's because, like or I've said before, experts put or they think they're experts, like Gabby said. But the truth is, is that there are people out there that self-esteem comes from them being right all the time or their self-esteem comes from being perfect or thinking that they're being perfect or their self-esteem comes from feeling superior to other people and it's unfortunate but that's not going to go away anytime and so I want you to know that I could have covered this entire horse thing up easily. I could have done so many things to not be truthful and honest and say like I don't think that I made the right decision and took the horse back. I could have not been so open with it, but I want you guys all to know, and I wanna be an example for you, that it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to second guess yourself. It's okay, and nobody makes perfect choices all the time. And the reason that I like to share it is because it's only in sharing this part of our journey that you guys can celebrate with us when things go amazing so showing you guys the bad stuff shows you that we are human and that we make mistakes and it also helps us celebrate the good stuff together and i never want to lose that so i want to say thank you to you guys who have supported us no matter what joy choices we've made and even to the people who don't understand the choices that we make i want to say thank you for supporting us and allowing us to make our own mistakes because that is what everybody needs to do everybody needs to have the opportunity to learn and grow in their own way and make their own mistakes. We are home, you guys. It was a long drive. We made it home before dark this time. But we are home and I'm excited to be home. The kittens are here. Hi, little kitty kitty. Oh, and there he goes, right out the door. Hello. Hello, Lexi. Hello. Look at how big she's getting. She looks small in real life, but on camera, she almost looks like a full grown cat. I'm not gonna lie, it is sad. And I'm sorry I didn't vlog very much of everything that was happening with with Evie. I don't wanna ruin the sale for somebody. I don't wanna like mess up somebody else's. She wasn't, I didn't know if I was gonna keep her and I don't wanna share things that could affect her sale, if that makes sense. So I will put away my pink bucket for another time. I honestly believe that there is a horse out there for me and I still want a horse. When Gabby was away on our trail ride, I took Evie for a really long, oh. When Gabby was away at her trail ride, I took Evie for a really long walk around the property and I worked on transitions, like I said, with her and it was amazing and it felt awesome. She was a little bit scared and nervous, but at the same time, I know that this is in my heart. And I think the big thing about me getting my own horse is that my kids are getting older. They don't want to be with me as much. Gabby's ready to go to the barn by herself, hang out with her friends, do her own horse stuff, go on two hour trail rides. Sophie's just around the corner from that. And I want something for me now. Like, I'm about to have empty nest. I'm about to have an empty nest. And even though we'll still have our horses, I want to fill my nest with something that I can spend my time on. I'm a high energy person and I really think this is what I want. I really think this is what I need. I think this is what, where I'm at right now. And one of the saddest parts about the whole situation is that I really am ready for something for myself, just for me. Anyway, that is it. I'm sorry that the vlog was not very vlog-like. It was, we spent the whole, we spent the last two days traveling and I know how that affects our videos, but uh, we were about to hit 100,000 subscribers. We have lots of things going on, lots of things in the works and I'm excited to share them with you guys and continue the search for my pony. We'll see you guys later. Don't forget, you're beautiful just the way you are. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way